Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. Hope you're having a great day today. So today I'd like to discuss with you how you can become a wholesale liquidator. So a wholesale liquidator is a liquidator that will buy merchandise and sell it on a wholesale basis. Now, if you want to become a wholesale liquidator, you have to have merchandise which you could offer at a very low wholesale price because that's the appeal of a liquidator. Meaning the appeal of, let's say, of a regular wholesaler is that they get the latest merchandise in a full range of sizes, full range of styles, full range of colors. The same item can be reordered at any time, but it's going to be sold at the full wholesale price. A liquidator is not going to have a full size run, is not going to have all the different colors, not going to have all the different styles. The liquidator's merchandise is going to change all the time. But the advantage is that the merchandise is going to be sold at liquidation prices, which are substantially below wholesale and in my opinion are also below closeout prices. So now how do you become a liquidator? So the first thing you have to do is you have to find access to the merchandise that you can liquidate on a wholesale basis. So how does that work? Well, let's say for example, there is a store going out of business. You approach the store and you make them an offer for the merchandise. You buy it at a substantial discount to the regular wholesale price. You want to get even below the closeout price. You buy that merchandise and then you sell it to stores. Right? You sell it on a wholesale basis. But now here's the thing. If you want to be a wholesale liquidator, you need to be able to buy enough merchandise at a very low price so you can get you know, that, that savings so you can really be considered a wholesale liquidator. If you're just going to buy wholesale merchandise, you're not going to be able to offer liquidation prices. So how do you do that? You have to be able to buy in quantity. Now, it might not be for everyone. Some people might not be at the point where they could buy a large quantity. That's okay. You have to start somewhere. You build up your business. But if you do want to be a wholesale liquidator, you need to be able to buy in a large quantity. And the other option is you could partner up with someone who has liquidation merchandise and will give you that merchandise at a very, you know, I would say low markup so you can also offer liquidation prices. Let's say, for example, someone comes to my warehouse and I have in my warehouse a lot of different items. One of the items I have right now are silk neckties. And let's say the regular wholesale price, and I'm just throwing out a number right now, but let's say the regular wholesale price in the market was $8 for a 100% silk necktie. And I sell it for $5. But I tell someone, you know what, I really want to liquidate these neckties. I got a really good deal on them. You know, even at a closeout price, the lowest I've seen these neckties being sold for are $4 each. So I tell someone else who wants to wholesale merchandise, look, I'll give you these neckties at $2 each. And now you could sell them at $3 each to the stores. You're going to offer them below the, even the closeout price so the stores will be getting an item which they could work on a you know, pretty good potential markup. So that's the key. Either you buy the merchandise yourself, get a really good deal, and then you're able to liquidate that merchandise, or you partner up with someone who has access to the merchandise and could give you really good liquidation deals. Now, you could approach manufacturers, ask them if they have any merchandise they want to liquidate, you buy that merchandise from them. Are there any wholesalers that are sitting on merchandise which they cannot sell? Now, you might wonder, why should you buy merchandise from someone else that, that they can't sell? What are you going to do with it? Well, you might have different customers than they have, and that might give you a way to sell that merchandise, which they were struggling to sell. You could also could approach retailers, find out what merchandise they have that is simply isn't moving. You can make them an offer on that merchandise and then buy that merchandise from them. Let's see what else. You can also approach importers, find out if they brought in any merchandise that was too late for the season and how they need to liquidate. Do they have any orders that they were that were canceled? So let's say they brought in a thousand dresses from for a store and how the store doesn't want them anymore. Now the importers just looking to recover some of their costs. So you buy it at a liquidation basis and then you take those dresses and you sell them to stores or to other wholesalers. So there's definitely good opportunities in the wholesale liquidation business. You know, always try to find customers, try to line up customers, investigate the market to make sure that you're buying at the right price and that there is a way for you to sell the merchandise that you're going to be buying. All right, my website is closedatexplosion.com. Next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. Thank you and have a great day.